also, um, actually a little bit before that, um, some of the students had some issues with the way things are being run here, and we had some, some, some tension on campus with the students. Um, can, were you, you were an instructor during that time. Can, can you t speak to that at all? The, uh, the main tension I remember is when the Black Student Union was beginning. Uh, uh, the black students on campus were wanting to establish uh, the Black Student Union, you know, an organization for their, for them, and uh, and establish its legitimacy and its right to exist. And uh, and there was a lot of uh, posturing and uh, and kind of minor vandalism. And um, one of the things that that I remember was. It's very funny, and it's the rock is still there. There was a huge rock, right in the middle of campus. And I, it's still there. They, they moved it when they started this construction project for the uh, the Allied Health Career Center. But uh, the the Black Student Union would go out there and paint this rock black at night or on a weekend or something, and so it'd be black for a little while, and then a few days later, it'd be white again, <laughs> painted white. And uh, we called in Paul Jacobson, I think was. Uh, I don't know if he'd be called the Dean of Students, he'd be the Academic Vice President today. Um, called in some helpers to, to kind of conciliate, uh, negotiate, and mediate, and, and try to get things back on a more normal footing around campus. That was probably the biggest uh, upset that I remember. But then eventually things calmed down with the students too? Yes. Do you think that was related to like larger issues happening in the country at the time, or was that related to the school's policies? Or oh, it was larger issues. It was happening all over the country. I remember uh, one day I was, I was teaching economics in my office, and I had the office right next to Tim Keeley. Tim Keeley, by the way, is Irish. The Irish are are properly known for their hot tempers, so Tim is in his office next to mine. And into my office walks Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee was a six foot four young black man. He was active in the formation of the Black Student Union. And as part of the national wave, you know, he was um, promoting rights for black students. And he came into my office with a complaint. He was complaining about the economics book I was using that referred to blacks as Negroes. And he was mad about this. He didn't like it. We are to be called blacks, not Negroes, and uh, and he was really worked up about this. You know, I think he was. We later became very good friends, and, and his wife Luana, Jimmy and Luana Lee. Uh, but at that point, he was in the role, you know, and he and he he really became worked up. And his voices were rising, and and we were back and forth, back and forth, and I could hear the faculty members up and down the hallway closing their doors. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to get involved in that. And uh, so at one point I said, you know, hang on, Jimmy. I'm gonna, I went next door and I got Tim. I said, Tim, come on in here. I want you to be part of this discussion. Well, Tim got mad. It was like throwing gasoline on a fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I regretted bringing Tim in to, to help me with that issue. <laughs> but we finally convinced Jim that, that uh, there was no malice intended. I mean, that and the black the, the textbooks today use blacks instead of Negroes, and it was their preference, and that's fine. But it was a uh, it was just kind of one of the those little things that happened along the way.